¿Se va a hacer o no se va a hacer la carnita asada? ¿Es una casa, hacer, sí o no? Okay. Sorry, excuse me. Can you see my screen? Uh, let's see. Yep, I can see your screen. Yep. So this is what I have for my glow stick. Okay. I took a picture of it. And then, okay, so I took a picture. I uploaded it here. But I don't know if the picture was like exactly what you wanted because I didn't attend the labs. I, ha I just did it on my own. Okay, so can, can you do me a favor and up re-upload your picture? Because right now, what you're showing is just what they have. So, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, give me one second. Okay, why didn't it let me do it? I don't know what's going on. Oh, here it is, yeah. Okay, so this is my glow stick. It just says saving and do I have, I just saw the title at right answer. Cause there's like something else that's supposed to happen cause it just says saving. Uh, no, that's, that should be it. And then it should be able to. So can I ask you, what did you see your, your picture? I, I, you know what? I listened to you. I took, cause I have an iPhone. So I took them off live. Okay. And, um, I just took a regular picture. It wasn't like okay. a yeah. picture or anything like that. So it should have, you know, uploaded. I started, it, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let me see. But I saw it earlier, but I don't, I guess it's not working now. Give me just one second. I'll, I'll let somebody else share their screen. Oh, here it is. Okay. Here. Here it is. Hold on. There it is. That's my picture. Okay. Good. Okay. So, so if you, so if you actually try to line that up, right, because you have your picture kind of at a slant. Yeah. You see the colors. Mm -hmm. So because it's at a slant, it's going to also, it's going to have a hard time recognizing. The other thing is that it's also in the wrong direction, because if you take a look at it, I'm going to write on your, your screen, if you don't mind. So this part here, this guy's kind of like your cyan color. Uh huh. And then this part over here, that's where your red is at. It's supposed so to be the other way around? It needs to be flipped. Okay. Yeah. Give me one second. How do I, do I flip it on the screen or do I have to retake the picture? Um, you know, I, you don't have to reflip it on the screen. You can flip it in your, in the picture itself, the picture that you have. Oh yeah. And then you can also, you can also tilt it. So then that way it'll get that red a little more lined up. So it'll be easier to, to do the calculations. So I most likely would have to do that with all of them then, right? Cause I, yeah. I did it backwards. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it just check. Cause sometimes you may have taken the picture, you know, it, cause you always want to try to go from, it's going to be from uh, violet to red. Okay. So violet is always going to be on the left-hand side. Red is going to be on the right-hand side. Okay. I clicked it. Let me see. Okay, Tucker, do you want to share your screen? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, let's see. Okay, Pedro, it should be up. It'll say electron configuration, even though that's not what it is. I just, my brain went blank for a minute. So. Okay, yeah, I just got the notification that the assignment got created, so. Okay. Oh, you guys weren't even seeing it at all, were you? Nope. Okay. All right, so like this is what I, like I have like the base, like where it's starting from. It's just like the, like doing the formula on here. Okay. With the wave, like, can you see my, my little thing in a way? Yeah. Like, does that it. look? Okay, so. First off, let's kind of get you oriented so that it's correct. Cause you're gonna have to oh, calibrate. Yeah. yeah. So one thing is, so don't, yeah, don't limit your thing. So we want to calibrate it. So you want to hit calibrate. Okay. Okay. 
and then apply. wait no you don't want to apply yet you want to go oh. up to the top and then you see where your blue and your green is at so your yes. blue and your green is actually i'm going to write on your screen as well if you take a look here's your blue right and you have the same problem your green is right here right and so uh -huh. it's it's reversed so you need to flip it right so that you want your blue your blue part should be over here and then your your red part should be over here so so should i just drag over the yeah so this part is just this here that's just your light source right and you can see some of the color coming off of it right but that's going to give you way too much signal and so it's going to be really hard to do anything with it but if you use this part here that's going to give you a cleaner result i see so okay and so then you just want to match up where your green is at and where your blue is at after you flip it. So, but you need to flip your image. Oh, f actually flip it? Yeah. And what I would do for me, I'd flip that, my image, and then I'd also get rid of this because right now what it's going to pick up is all of this. So you have these pictures. I'm assuming you took them with your phone. Yeah. Okay. So what I would do is I would just crop out this part because you have a nice spectrum right there. See that? Yeah. Okay. So and you actually, it's a very nice spectrum. So you want to just crop this, crop it pretty close, so then you're not getting all that white stuff on the out, outer part, and then you're getting that beautiful signal, and then you want to flip it. So then it's just a matter of changing orientation. Like actually flipping it like the original picture on my phone? Like You I can do it on your phone, but you can actually, it'll actually allow you to, to, your phone will also allow you to do that to your image. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hang on, let me see. Dr. So, Henry. Dr. Henry. Oh. Yep. Sorry, you can go ahead and talk. Uh, I was just going to ask him, does he have a um, formula for Excel for this specific lab? Yes, like sir, I do have a formula. Can you share? It'll cost you. Please. <laughs> I just want to get this over and done with. Dr. Henry's always hustling, bro. I don't know what to tell you. You said what is broke? No, he said you're always hustling. I'm trying. Got to make money some way, right? I obviously don't get paid enough for, for teaching classes. Let's see. Um... If I can remember that it. we were all broke college students, okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm a I'm a broke college instructor. So I can relate. <laughs> Let's see. Dr. Henry, I finally flipped it. Okay. So and then I'm supposed to calibrate it, right? At the bottom. Uh yep. You want to calibrate it? Okay. Hang on, I think I could do it. But for us who, okay, so like I saw what you did to, um, I don't know what's his name. Hang on, I'm going to unshare. Uh, I'm going to unshare and then try to, okay. I, I'm going to get the me, image back. I'm sure? looking for mine. I'm looking for mine right now. So give me a second while I try to find it. Um, But Dr. Henry, like I saw what you did to um Tucker's screen with the whole like dragging the blue. Like I honestly think I calibrated all of mine before doing that dragging stuff. Uh -huh. yep. So I should go back and upload and drag. Yeah. So I would actually I would actually make that modification because it makes it so much easier to actually see. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So I think I I don't I don't think I did it right. Or I'm not sure. Because I flipped it and then I put calibrate and then it just did this and my picture is gone. You probably need to do the drag thing I was just talking about, too. Okay. Yeah, because it's having, like, in your case, it's not showing a picture at all. All yeah. you see is the reference. Uh, can I share? I think I got a, a pretty good one now. Okay. okay. Share it. Is that 
Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Okay, so in this case, now again, so if I were for me, I kind of trim it down even tighter, so I'd end up with a really small picture. So if it were me, but we'll show you how to do it with this one, and you'll see what you get because all this light here is also going to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you so, uh, want to get as close to just yeah, what's the the spectrum as it is. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's the meat right there. That's boxed. In there. Yeah. So that's yeah. I see it. Okay. So then now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go down and hit calibrate. Okay, so calibrate. Okay. Now, you see where it says G2? Yeah. Okay, so now what is what what's happening is is that it's using all the stuff that you had saved earlier. So you had at some point it had applied for your calibrate. So now it's saying, okay, so we're going to use what you had earlier and then and then we're gonna use this in addition. So you must have hit calibrate at some point earlier today and then hit apply before you had shut uh, off. Yeah, I was kind of messing with it earlier. Yeah, okay. So what it's taking what you have earlier as a calibration, right? So, but anyway, what you would do is you take this G2 and line it up where your green is at, right? Your green is kind of, I guess it's right here more so. So I actually take the whole... And so normally you'd have a blue as well, and then you'd line up the blue. And so then that allows you to do your calibration. And then, so you'd hit apply. In this case, you only have green, so you're gonna hit apply in this case. Just go ahead and hit apply. Yep. Okay. And it didn't adjust it at all, did it? Wait, so how do I go back to just that image? Like how to keep it, I'm not mixing with the other images I've used. Um, I think what you're gonna do is because it says linear calibrate uh, three, so it just did that one. So unpin it, you see where it's pinned here? Hit, just go ahead and hit garbage. So it actually, it manually calibrated the two references, right? So go ahead and garbage it. You see right where here? the trash can is? Uh, I think that I think that deletes everything. Yeah, I think that'll work too. So, but I was just making okay. reference to this one. Yeah. Okay. Again. Oh, there you go. Okay. So now it's gonna have you upload everything again. Okay. And then I'll actually I'll um I'll trim it down a little bit more and then. I'll okay. Back on. Right. Okay. And so let's talk about those calibrations. I think we're going to have to regenerate it. Yes. I can't seem to find it. Oh, nope. Found it. Save it in the wrong spot. Okay. Okay, so the first thing is, is that we want to put everything in terms of nanometers, in terms of our wavelength, right? Oops, you guys can't see anything. No. Let me share my screen. Okay, so these are my wavelengths. I'm just playing with numbers and everything like that. I'm guesstimating stuff, right? Okay. So we're going to have a starting wavelength and we're going to have an ending wavelength because ideally what you're going to do is you're going to get you're going to get curves that you know where you have peaks right in theory and so if you if you're doing like white light it's going to be the full range of white light which is going to be like from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers right and so you want to Give me the wavelength where that, where it starts, and then the wavelength where that peak ends. Okay. So, if we're talking about white light and we have the full spectrum, you're going to see from violet all the way to red. Right. So violet is going to be about 350, 400, 
and then your red is going to be about 700. Okay. And so, and since it all blends together, you're not, you're not going to have, it's going to be one full peak, right? Or it's just going to go straight across, right? Evenly across. That means that the light is evenly distributed in all of the different areas. And so then all you're going to do is go from 400 to 700. So then you want to calculate your starting frequency. Well, you use this value to calculate your starting frequency. How do you calculate frequency? Do you better remember the equation? Is it V or nu equals C over lambda? Okay, so we said, you said nu equals C over lambda. And what is C again? The constant speed of light. Okay, so this is the speed of light. And what is the value for the speed of light again? It's on your screen. It is on my screen. Okay. And then each of our lambdas are gonna be these guys, but we have to change our lambdas into meters because the units for speed of light is meters per second. So to change the meters, I'm going to divide it by 10 to the ninth nanometers, right? So then my nanometers cancel out, and one meter equals 10 to the ninth meters. So then I'm just left with meters, All right? So I could actually sit there and do those individually, or I can plug it into an equation. And so when I plug it into an equation, I can type my equation into my Excel spreadsheet. And so I'm saying that here, the speed of light times 10 to the ninth divided by my nanometers. Okay, so then that allow me to calculate my frequency. How do you, so how do you put what? that formula? Yeah, how do you, yeah, like how do you create that, create that formula on top? You type, you type it in, you say equal and then the money sign locks in the, it, it will lock in the column, right? So the column here is C, okay? So it says money sign, we're locking the column. So it'll go, always go to C. And then if we go money sign and lock in the, the row, then we'll have the column locked in and that row. So it'll always return to here. So I'm locking it to that spot. So I'm saying my constant is located right here. So it can always go to this constant and put that in there. Does that make sense? Jamie? You have that look. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little, it's a little kind of confusing, but uh, okay. So, and then we have the, um, the parentheses and then 10 times nine, right? Yep. I mean, 10, 10 and, um, yep. oh my God, the exponent nine. And then, um, so what's that for? Is that for the for line um, 18? Is that what that, it is? That's for making our conversion, right? So oh, let me, okay. let, let's, because all you're saying is, because this is the equation right here. We're saying the frequency is equal, equal to the wavelength times new. So the C17 is our wavelength. C17 equals our wavelength. Yeah. I mean, not a wavelength, it equals our, our uh, speed of light, okay? So nu equals the speed of light, and then it's divided by the wavelength, right? Mm -hmm. So we're changing the wavelength into meters. So mm -hmm. either I could change each of these guys into meters, I could make another space and change everything into meters, or I could just divide it by, I can multiply it by this and divide it by one, Right, which is what I'm, I'm doing right here, right? Okay. Okay. You do that so, with every single one of them, right? Like yep. with source. Okay. And, and then, then that gives me my frequency, right? Yeah. Okay. So once I have my frequency mm -hmm. for one of them, right? You so can drag drop it. Like I can just, time. exactly. I can just drag and drop, and then it gives me it all for everything. Okay. 
And then what okay. about your, your end frequency? And that exactly the same equation. So again, okay. the equation is going to be exactly the same. So I can literally, since I set this up, I made it so it's fixed and it's not changing. And so okay. it's always going to be that C17. Okay. So then I could just drag it over. And then it does it there and I can drag it down. Okay. And this applies to, and this is just for the frequencies, right? Right. Okay. But it doesn't have to do anything with the, the start wavelength and then the end uh, wavelength, right? Okay. No, it does. Because how do you calculate frequency? No, I, I know, I know that, but what I'm trying to say is that I don't need to select either start or end of um, wavelength, right? In order for me to, to complete the, um, the start frequency. Yeah, well you do because the start frequency is C4, right? Yeah. So look, if you look at the equation, it's dependent on our start frequency. I mean, uh -huh. start wavelength, sorry, start wavelength. Oh yeah, no, no I see it now. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, can I share? I don't. Mine still only is showing the um, green. Okay, give me give me one second, and then we'll try to figure out what how to fix yours. So, so let me show you that last that last um, column you have to the right. The, the did you put the same kind of formula minus the three point or the C seventeen because it's on C eighteen, I think. It's C18, so C18 is Planck's constant. And so if we're calculating energy, Planck's constant, energy is equal to Planck's constant times nu. So it's just E equals H nu. Well, nu is just frequency. So we have our start frequency and we have our end frequency. So then all I need to do is I multiply it by Planck's constant, which is, I put that value in, 18 and then I multiply the frequency by that number and then that gives me the energy okay so that would be the starting energy for a single photon at that wavelength does that make sense mm, kind of no. <laughs> yeah. it's just it's just multiplication right yeah and I'm, I just, I think it's just kind of setting up the graph and then getting like the the the, the correct calculation for it, you know? Okay. So, and, and you should be looking at when you're talking about energy. So you are going to be looking at things that are going to be like E to the minus 19 or E to the minus 20 or somewhere in, in that range. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then your frequency should be pretty high. Right. So that'll be like 10 to the 14th because we know that the wavelengths are really small. So that means the frequency are going to be pretty high. Okay. They're inversely proportional. Okay, so we need uh, frequency, energy, and then what else? And that's it. And that's and then it? your color and color. So you're going to put the color in there. The color. So, hold on. The color that you're seeing, right? So if it's the range, if you're seeing the full spectrum, then mm -hmm. you just go from violet to red, right? Mm -hmm. And that tells me, okay, so that 400 was their violet and their red was 700. If you see just blue, and it's just the range that you see blue at. If you're seeing just green, then you're just the range that you're seeing your green at. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, and that's it. Let me see. Well, I was gonna ask you another question too. Um, do you mind if I if I show you mine? Because I think I, I I hopefully I flip I did flip it and it's correct just to make sure that I'm able to to calculate everything. Uh, yeah, but let me let Tucker show me his, and okay. then so that and then we'll get to you. Okay. okay. Okay, Tucker. All right. Um, so it'll be this one right here. So it's still just, you're saying that it's still just showing you the same? Yeah. Okay, right now you don't, I don't see anything. Do you see a picture? All I see is a oh, haze. Huh. Okay, hang on. Oh, what the, I thought I just had. Okay, hang on. Let me just, let me try to get it back to. That okay. might be part of what my, it might not be picking up the picture. Okay. Dr. Henry, and we only used one glow stick for this, right? Just one color? Or do we That's have... right. 
Just one single glow stick, yes. I wanted to make sure, because I wasn't sure if we had to use two colors. Nope. Okay. I only wanted one glow stick because the other two glow sticks are going to be used for something else. Oh, that okay. scared me. I already mixed them. Okay, so go ahead and... Uh, Just drag it to the green. Well, I think you're going to have to recalibrate. So you're going to have to... So when you uploaded it, when you uploaded your image, because it, it's it's recognizing as something that's already being calibrated. So now it's just going to use one of them to kind of get it lined up, and then that's it. Okay. So it's not seeing that, it's not recognizing the blue. Okay. So I'm just trying to figure out what what's happening that would cause that to happen. So do me a favor and hit, try to hit calibrate again. Okay. Because you should be seeing two pins up there. You should see a blue, a green pin and a blue pin. Yeah. I don't know why it's not. I mean, I could try to do a difference. Okay. Um, do me a favor. Load the picture as something else because it may be recognizing it as sun. And since you've already loaded sun up, it's, it's saying, okay, this guy's already been done. So save, I'm sorry, save your pictures as something else. Uh, Dr. Henry, I have a question about homework. Okay. I know that we have, I think it was four, right? That was, that's due tomorrow? Yep. Okay, cool. And then it's, which one is, it's going to be five or six that's due on Friday? It's going to be uh, five and, let's see, five and six. So actually it's going to be five that's going to be due on Friday and then we're going to do six for next week. Okay. And then Harnell is going to be switched, so. Cool. Yeah, because they kind of go together, five and six, the, the assignment really kind of go together. It was just, and one of them is like really, really short, and one of them is a little bit longer, so. Yeah, no, I saw that. I was looking at it. So that's the, those are the assignments on Chem 101, right? Yep. So there's two do this week, right? Yeah. Yeah, are yeah we we're trying to catch up. Discussions? Oh. What was that? There's no discussions this week. I decided not to. I decided not to give you guys those discussions. Uh, you're going to get a discussion next week to kind of help with your exam, and that's it. Okay. You said that next week the exams for as it's due Friday, right? Yeah, it'll be due Friday. Just want to make sure. And this an exam covers chapters three. Is it three five right or no? The exam is going to yeah. cover chapters. Uh, five, eleven, okay, and twelve. Five, 11. 12. Wait, next week as in spring break week? Not you guys. Okay, so there's Harnell and there's Kulinga. Kulinga will have their exam next week, and Harnell is going to have the week after, right? So when you guys come back. Okay. Do you, I don't is is he still here? The the guy that was going to share his screen because I can share mine because I think I did it right. Okay. Share yours. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still I'm still trying to get my image to. I'm trying to kind of change it. Okay. Can you see my screen? I see it. Yep. I don't know why it's like that. Sorry, it's supposed to be bigger. There you go. Oh no. Oh, see, it, it's doing the same thing. It did have the picture before, and now it's. Now it's doing that. I don't know what happened to it. That's all right. We can still work with it. Although if you keep, now I'm starting to have a, okay, there we go. That's good. Okay. So you see where that blue is? Yeah. It says B2. Mm -hmm. So you want to drag it over. Okay. Now I don't see your picture. Yeah. I'm telling you, it just, it glitches. It does this. I don't know if it's the website or, cause I didn't calibrate it before. I. What is the, uh. What are you hey, using? Just tap on, tap on calibration again. I think that's what mine did the same thing. It'll like bring it back up. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so now drag your green uh -huh. over to. It's kind of hard to find. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. So about right there, right. Okay. And mm -hmm. then drag your blue. Okay, so you have cyan. So technically your blue should be right after your cyan. Although 
I'm assuming this is your green glow stick. Yeah, it's my green glow stick. Okay, so you did the same thing that everybody else tends to do, right? So what you're going to do is, let me show you. So ah, this is going to be hard. Okay, because you probably included your glow stick in your picture, right? When you took a picture. Not technically. What I did is I, I put the glow stick um, like kind of on the bottom of the, the, the what are, what's it called again? <laughs> Sorry, the spectro thingy. And then yep. so I kind of gave it a little bit of a glow on top and that's how I was able to see the colors. Okay. So that's what I did. I didn't take, okay. a, I didn't take a picture of the glow stick exactly. Oops, sorry. Okay. So in theory, with your Spectra thing, what you should have been able to do is kind of put this directly over your camera. Like uh -huh. I put it over the camera in my room. And, and if you take a look at my image, let me, I'm gonna have you stop sharing. Okay. So if you take a look at my image, you see where the light's at? Yeah. Okay, let me spotlight myself. But if you look to the side, do you see my spectrum? Yeah, I do. Now, your spectrum compared to my spectrum, what does that look like? Right? You, it, it, well, you can it, see the colors more clearly, right? Yeah, and part of that is partially because, partially because, I'm not taking close to the light, I'm not taking but as I did it, right, I kind of screw with that spectrum a little bit. So what's happening if you get really close to the light, you see the spectrum here that's right above me? Yeah, I see it on your left hand side and then I see it like okay. I see I see four. Yeah. And so you want to try to get the one that's going to give you the clearest, right? So this one gives you a nice, so like right on my head, let me move right here. Oh, yeah. Right, right here. Right there. Okay. So yeah, I see right it. Right my head. So that's going to give you the clearest, uh -huh. thing, the prettiest one. This one gives you kind of like the reflection from the light up here. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, uh, that over here. Yeah, I got the one that's literally right above the light. Each of the lights kind of interfering with it. Right? Yeah. Okay. So you want to try to get the one where you can get a nice clear spectrum. Right? Right above my head. Yeah. And not the one that's up here with all of the light. So you you're saying to, to more to like basically kind of angle it more so I'm able to see it. Cause I did the, I'm going to show you, can I show let me just show you these pictures that I have and then tell okay. me if you're good or not. That's all okay. I'm show you. And then, so if I'll use them, if not, I will retake all, um, I will retake all of them. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. So sure. start sharing. Dr. Henry, um, it didn't matter what color glow stick we took a picture of, right? No, it doesn't matter. Sorry, you see my fingerprints on it. Can you see them? I see reset. I don't. Can you open the pictures themselves? Yeah, I open. So like them. your your one fifty, yeah. your one twenty five. Oops, wrong that one. That looks really good. Uh, Eleven twenty five. Yeah. See so yeah, those look really good. Okay. Yeah. So part of the issue is is that you're taking them through the box itself rather than putting the rather than doing this putting the the thing directly on your camera, opening it up and putting it directly on your camera. And so, so you're literally going through the hole in the box, right? Is that what you did? Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. yeah, although your pictures came out, that one came out really good. So you can kind of see, you can see clearly the blue and the green. Yeah. Right? So those came out good. So you can use it, but you're going to have to cut all of the other stuff out. So you, you want to crop it so you only have Just the, the spectrum, right? And then I'll show you the one that's best. Let me write on your, I'm going to write on your screen here. So this one is a better picture because where, the way it's oriented. This one is kind of oriented in this direction, right? So that means that what you'll have to do is flip it. Yeah. Which you can do. That's fine, you know? Yeah. It's an yeah. easy flip. Yeah, exactly. But you want to flip it. You, even, even that, you want to flip it the angle 
So partially, you don't want to flip, flip it completely. So a partial. Okay, so let me see. Like So that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with this. Yeah, so you see where it says here? You have that flip icon thing? Yeah, that's what I'm using right now. Okay, but see if you can get halfway between, kind of give it catty corner. So that you, you're getting all your blue on one side. That's too far. Can you flip it halfway between there? No, it won't let me. It was just oh. like, it it's only me. 90 degrees. Yeah. Okay. A MacBook for you. Um, no, you can actually use, I'm trying to think of the program. Uh, the ones with numbers, I think you can use that. One. Which you can one? put it put it in an image, like a, a PowerPoint presentation. Uh -huh. You have PowerPoint. Put in yeah. PowerPoint presentation and you can actually, it'll allow you to alter it just a little bit. So you can turn oh. it just a little bit. Okay. I'll do that. All right, I, I just, I gave up. I'm gonna probably just retake that picture because I just brought up my glow stick one and it's it's like, it's working now. Okay. So, hey, let me just share to see if it's. No, this one actually has both. Can you see it? Yes, I can see it. Okay, so now you want to just line up, line up your green. So, and with your G2. So, uh, you want to take it over to like over to the green yeah, area. Right, right, somewhere right. Yeah. Where you... So I'd say probably right here. So use this kind of, and again, it's a little catty corner, but that's all right. It works. Okay, now then your blue, so your blue is gonna be right like in this area. Yeah, so I was kind of like right on the edge of it turning yep. to green. Yep. Okay. okay. And then now you wanna hit apply. Okay. And so you can actually start, you'll start seeing the peaks, right? And then you also notice that you'll have peaks of the colors as well too. So that means this is going to be, it has a little bit of red over here, you know, and then you can see the bulk of your peak and then that's going to be where your greens are going to be at, you know, so this is going to be your range right here for your greens. And then this is going to be your range for your reds. It's weird that it doesn't all flow together, but or literally it's going to be red and orange. You can kind of see that. Yeah. Okay, so now, for, so for what you take from here, that's what I'm kind of confused. So you'll take like okay, the 550. So, yeah, so you take the range from, okay, so here, these are your peaks, right? And so you have like, your intensities are kind of low. It's not recognizing them as really high because the way your stuff is kind of catty corner. So you have stuff that are canceling out each other, right? Because it's in this area, you're saying, okay, this is supposed to be green, but if you actually look at it, it has green and then it has, because your spectrum is, Kind of like this. The yeah. spectrum is going like this rather than like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So because of that, part of it is being canceled out. But you can use that, use most of it, because you know that this part is green, right? So it's going to be basically from here to here. You see that green. So then that part is going to represent your green spectrum. And then technically from there to here, that's going to be kind of like your orange oranges and yellow. And then here you have very little yellow. This part is all your red, right? So then this is gonna be your red. So then all you're gonna do is use this, scroll over it, find the part where it starts. What does it start at? Right there, wait, keep going right there. Okay, keep, and, and it gives you that peak, right? So then right there at 632, yeah, 631, perfect. 631.4, and then go all the way to this part right here. Like just go straight across? Yeah, just go straight across to the other one right there. So right there, that's going to be your 669. So that's going to represent that range. Right there. Okay. Again, if you had it, if it was all kind of up and down, it'll be easier for it to recognize. But it, since it's diagonal, it's having a hard time getting a lot of that, those tones up here. Do you understand? Yeah. So then, so that's what I'll, so. 
So what would we say the first so 631. 631. To six, Actually, real quick. To 69. Translate it onto the. And that'll be what I would put down for the glow stick. Like, yep. for, it's like say yeah. I go to my. Yeah, but yours is like, so yours, the way it's set up, if you actually look at it, it gives you nice, very distinct colors. But yeah. you have ranges. You don't have any green, uh, yellow, right? You're lacking the yellow, but you do have green. And you have, it looks yeah. like cyan. And so you have three colors that you're really concerned about. You're going to have your, your cyan to your green. And then you're going to have your green to your reddish orange. And then you'll have your reddish orange to red. Okay, so with the glow stick, would I go like say on my Excel? I have it because I did it. I was doing it different, so would I just go four hundred to six hundred range, or is that? So what I would do for me, because literally you have three colors. Really, if you look at it, there are three colors there. You have a cyan. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna clear what I wrote on the board. Okay. Okay. So right here, from here to here, right. That's your cyan. So that's yeah. going to be this color, basically. And then I'm going to say these peaks are probably going to be contributing to it, right? So that's going to be your, your cyan. Then you have your green, because that's what you have right here. That's going to be your other color. So that's going to probably be these right here. And then the last part is your orange and your red, right? Orange is red, and that's going to be covered about right here. So you have three distinct colors. So you could be able for your glow stick, you could have glow stick and then give it three spaces underneath it, right? Or two spaces underneath it and then put your spin light and then put your light. Put your very first wavelength, which is like from whatever this peak is to this peak, right? And then you have your green, which is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna say, I, say, I would just do like say multiple. So I say the first one right now. Yeah. So yeah, scroll over. Don't worry about no. This is called this is going to be your background, right? All okay. of this is going to be background. So I don't worry about that part. Of it. So it'd be like you want, right here. Yeah. Where the where's the color at? The color is right here, right? So yeah. Okay. So you're going to be using that part there. Okay. So four then, 37 to to about right uh, about right over here. Yeah. So 503. Okay. And so you want to record that. Okay. And, and because again, because yours is catty corner, it's your numbers are going to be a little skewed. And that's why you're, yeah. you're, you're going to have to do it in this way. And then I can actually, I just, the main thing real quick is just the, yeah, what did I say the other? So let me clear. It was five. So right here. So right to that peak right there, right? Yeah, 503.9. Oh, I'm not running. So Dr. Henry, for all of them, do you just want the three highest peaks or do you want all the peaks of whatever no, color you see? Just, just kind of give me the three highest peaks. And if you have, like, in the case of the sun or the light, those guys are going from, they should be about even all the way across. So you should have, they should all be pretty strong. And so you go from the very beginning to the very end. So that one only needs one peak. The glow stick is the one that's probably going to be a little more, going to have three peaks, because depending on the colors that they had in there, the, the reaction they had going on. Dr. Hennard? Yeah. Oh, I'm already done cutting these out, so we can stay here or we can go already? You can go already, yep. Okay, then. Yep. So we have to do this for every color? Not for every color. So again, okay, so let me show you what a spectra looks like. Give me one second. Let me finish putting this in there. So if it's a spectra, if, they, if they're blending into each other, so a natural spectra has all the way from violet to red. Right, so I'm gonna pull up a natural spectrum. Um, let me see if I can do it. 
Dr. Henry, good question. Um, are you going to be here doing your 7 to 10 lab? I will be here during my 7 and 10 lab, yes. Okay, perfect. Is it cool if I pop in there and get yes. any more questions? Yes, you can. Right. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Okay, so, Tucker, can you stop sharing for a second? Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to start sharing. Okay, so this is what a natural spectra look like, right? And you actually have one of these in your book. So if it's from the natural spectrum, which is what your light, visible light, this represents all the visible light, then all you have to do is give me the range where you're starting to the range where you end, okay? So in this case, you're starting at the violet and you're gonna be ending at the red, <laughs> okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, but if you're getting like Tucker is getting, in Tucker's case, Tucker is getting cyan, and he's getting some green, and then he's getting orange. The red, the yellow is all filtered out. You don't see any yellow at all. Yeah. So in his case, he could have gone, he can go from cyan to green, and he could say, okay, so I got that peak, right? And then he also has the orange to yellow peak. So his case, he's gonna have two, at least two different, different ones. Okay. Okay. So I'd have like a, I would do like, Say on my the like on my Excel, I would do. Let me see. It's like so for the glow sticks, I'd have a whole nother start wavelength and wavelength, right? That's right. So you'd have you'd have two sets. Yeah, you'd have this will be your first start. This will be your your uh, first end. This is your second start. This is your second end. Wow. So in that case, let's say if I was doing Tucker, and then let me see there. So like basically what you're saying is just um you're we're, we're still using all of the colors right we're just not yeah. using a section of the color and it's just going to be spread out right we're going to have calculations for all of them what, what i'm saying is okay so let me show you on my sheet so this will it'll explain it better okay so tucker i'm going to pretend i'm tucker right okay tucker had a glow stick his first wavelength was, uh, let's see, what was that? Four. Like the, yeah, four, 437 if you're doing like the actual. 437, okay. <clears throat> okay, and it's going all the way up to the end of the, the green, right? So we're gonna say green is up to five, what was it, 549 or 539? 503.9. 503. So that's his first one, right? And so his next one was going from, let's say, 532 to, to 600. And then his last one was all that orange and red. So we're going to say 680 to 780, OK? And so. This is going to be cyan. This is going to be green. And this is going to be orange red. OK. Yeah, I see. So does that make sense? So yeah, I, no, I, I definitely see that for sure. Yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. So if you're missing colors in between the spec, like, in the case of, let me put spectrum again. Okay, so if you're missing colors, then you're gonna have to give me ranges, right? But if you're not missing colors, if it's going all the way from violet all the way down to green, uh, to red, then you're you're okay. So then you just say, okay, so I'm going from four, 400 to 700. Okay. okay. Okay, and this also includes the, um, the sunlight and also the, 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 the lamp, right? Yep, yep. And your sunlight and lamp, those guys should be perfect. They should be the full spectrum. Okay. Shouldn't be missing anything. But the glow sticks, because they're giving you very specific colors that are coming out of them, right? Then you're gonna probably be missing something. Unless you had a white glow stick, which so, is possible. So like I, like I showed you like the pictures, like I had one that was completely, which it was the sunlight and it was um, all the colors. So basically, yep. That's what I would put down then, right? 
Yeah. So then in that case, you just have to put sunlight mm -hmm. 400 to 700 and then from violet to red. Because oh, okay. nothing is missing. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Thank you. I'm sorry. I know it's That's just okay. It's okay. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I mean, it's like I said, it's a whole lot harder to do online because we're like, okay. Yeah. You it, know. It's a little stressful. So. I'm not going to lie. But. Yeah, but we're getting it. Yeah, we're going to get it, you know. I'm just real. Let me just extend that. Yeah, I'm just kind of this like the how to input. So if you just real quick show me three point, I just put five levels. Do I have to put the point nine or does it matter? No, you don't have to put the point nine. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll say this one was the. Um, okay, can I share my screen real quick yep okay so like i get all i know how to i get understand like the actual picture part but like now just like the math like how to input it on if you could just show me at least just the first one and then okay so in a uh, in one of the cells let's use one of the cells up top so let's go to c C9 up top. Okay. okay. So type in uh, 3.00 E E E8. Okay. So you're saying that uh, also put an equal sign in front of it, in front of the 3.00. Okay, and hit return. Okay, so you're saying right there, that's gonna be what your C is gonna equal to. So in B, column B9, type in C equals. C equals? Yep. Okay. And then in D9, type in M slash S. So that tells me the units. So we're saying that the speed of light equals three times 10 to the eight. Count those zeros. Aren't there eight zeros there? You said M slash? S, as in snake. Okay. Okay, for meters per second, right? So that's the units for the speed of light, okay? okay. So in, in 10B, type in H equals. H equals. And it's going to be 6.626 e to the negative. I said 6.626. Yep. Times. No, no, no. So in, in C, that's what you want to put. Oh, in C. That's right. Okay. Oh, on the actual. Yes. Did you say equals? Yeah, you want to put equals. Six point six. Point, six point. Oh. Not six comma. Six point yeah. two six two six. Okay. E. E. Negative. Uh, two four. I have to look it up to be sure. So I always forget. I'm sorry. Negative thirty four. Yeah. And so this, so this right here is would be like the, this is the formula for. Those are your constants. Yeah. Okay, so those are not your formulas. So those are your constants. So C is the speed of light. H is Planck's constant. Okay. Okay. So in D, what you want to put are the units for Planck's constant. So the units for Planck's constant is joules times seconds. So here you put, how do you put that? How do you put the? J. Oh, just J. Yeah, J, S, capital J, small s, capital J. Small. Yeah. 
and put a space between it so they'll know that they're not times each other. I mean, that they're times each other, they're not JS, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna write the formula for you. So if we have new equals C divided by lambda, right? This is the lambda in nanometers, right? We want lambda in meters because C is in meters. So right now I'm gonna put lambda and I'm gonna put in parentheses nanometers to let me know it's in nanometers. So if I wanna change nanometers into meters, then what I need to do is I wanna go, yep, yeah, that's right, 10 to the ninth nanometers over one meter, right? The one will cancel out, so it'll be That's 10. Right. Yeah. So then we're left with this equation, mm -hmm. right? So what I'm going to write in is we know that this guy is C1, I mean, or C9, right? So I write in money, C9, money, because that fixes it so it doesn't change. Okay, so money C, money nine, and then I put star. I'm multiplying it by 10 to the ninth. So it's 10, nine, and then I'm gonna divide it by, so all I have to do is divide it by wavelength, which is B15. So then I'm gonna put an equal sign there, okay? So this, this here would be just divided by, oops. Why is it B5? Sorry, it should be B15, not B5. Whatever it, this one, B15. Oh, what's inside the... Yeah, for your, for your wavelength. So I would put right? that, so I would do this, I would do that right here, right? Yep. So I would just go, you said the, you have to do the money sign. C, the capital C. Well, put, you want to put the equal sign first. Oh, equal sign, yeah. Yep. And then you put money sign C, money, money sign. sign nine. And then nine. the star, which means times. And then you want to go 10 to the Ninth power. Where's the right? And then divide it by B, the B, 15. Yep. Okay, and, and hit return. Now, if you take this, go back to that, that value there. This one? No, no. The the, yeah, the one that you just calculated, click on it and drag it. Take that little square in the corner and drag it over to the, it. To to the, the end, end frequency. frequency. Yep. Okay. okay, so now you just calculated your end frequency because it's taking that number and doing exactly the same thing that you did. Okay. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, so then once I input the other glow stick ones, could I drag it down or is it not? Like That's right. Yeah. So once you put your other glow stick ones or all your light and everything else, all you have to do is drag it down and it will do the calculation. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm good for you. I'll, okay. I'll kind of start so, messing wait, wait, with it right, right now. Before I'll, you go, wait, before you start, because let me tell you about energy, right? So energy is going to oh, yeah. be the same yeah, way. Yeah, be the energy one too. Yeah. So energy is just E is going to equal H times new, right? Well, you just calculated new. This is your new, right? That's your okay. new start. And then this is your new end. So that's start and then end. So if you want to calculate energy start, you're just going to use that value and multiply it by H. So what am I going to do? What is my equation going to be? It'd be the same. What would it be? The, it'd be the same thing times, didn't you say? times the value or times new? 
Okay, now remember, this here is lambda. That's what is over here, right? Oh, Wavelength okay. is lambda. Nu is frequency. Oh, if, so you're going to be at times this. Okay, so what am I going to use? What am I going to multiply times that? As I said, oh. h, yes. I'm going to multiply h, which is Planck's constant. Do you see that, Tucker? Yeah. So you're going to multiply this guy by this guy, right? So you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to say it's going to equal. Uh, I could just do it right on the start. Yep. Yep. Money. So money, C, money, money C. Money C. Money 10. 10. And then you go, you select your frequency. So just select um, that guy. This guy right here. Like actually just click on it? Yeah, just click on it. Oh. And hit return. Okay. Oh, now and then just calculated your energy. And then just drag it over. Yep. And then I could do the same. Okay, yes, I can. No, I see it now. Yeah, I was. That was just the the formula parts so of that was kind of confusing me. But yeah, I see it now for sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, and then you said you wanted a uh, along with this info the um, pictures. Yeah. So like actual the screenshots of the. Yep. Of the actual um, colors or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Thank you, Dr. If I had any more, if I haven't, you said you'll be in like technically tonight, your lab will be kind of like a. It'll be like today with the way it was with you guys. Same okay, thing. It'll just kind of be like a. Okay. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Let's see. Somebody said something. Okay. Okay. So we have, we're down to 14. Anybody have questions? Um, I have some questions. Do you have some questions? Okay. Yeah, but someone else go before me because I'm still waiting on my computer to charge. Okay. I'm on my phone right now. Okay. Anyone else? I have a question. Just go ahead. Yep. Um, for the lab, is there lobster, lobster um, um, lab, right? It, it is going to be the lobster lab, yes. Okay. And then for the thing that uh, we are doing right now, I think I did it differently. Okay. So do you want to share yeah, so that we can fix it? Did you end up with the same answers? Uh, yeah, but I just got these because I did it for each color. Oh, okay. And, but I don't know if should I redo it again? And then I... Because I didn't get the um, the end. Okay, so yeah, so your prob your answers are your frequencies are too low, right? So like for instance, this frequency should be much much higher. Okay, so right? so what should I do? Should I redo it again, or should I? Just uh, no, we can just we can set it up so you're calculating it correctly. So there's some somehow you miscalculated it, right? Okay. So you actually did each one independently by hand. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Okay. So let's fix it so that you can, you will end up with the right number, but we're going to have to kind of adjust your table the way it is so that you can put your units. So what you can do is um, up here, I'm going to, oh, I can't write it. Initially. You see where it says frequency, right? Up top where it says room, wavelength, frequency, room light. Okay. Click on your frequency. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put in uh, and print, so we're going to put a space, parentheses, HZ. H? H. Z, as in Zeta. Okay, so that's for Hertz, right? Uh -huh. So close parentheses. So we're saying that everything that's in that, that row is going to be Hertz. Uh -huh. Okay, so in the case of wavelength, can you do me a favor and uh -huh. click next to wavelength? Yep, click on wavelength. And then put in uh, space parentheses and M. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mm 
So, and then in the case of energy, click on energy. Mm -hmm. We're going to put parentheses J. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now what I want you to do is I want you to delete the NM for your wavelength for those numbers that are down below it. Okay. And also this, yeah, that's, that's great right there. All okay. of them? Yep. Uh, also these ones, right? Yep, exactly, yes. Well, that one you're gonna delete everything because we're gonna give you the equation. Okay. Right. And actually, I don't know how to put the, the picture in this thing either, so I don't know. Okay, I'll show you how to do that here in a second too, so. Okay. So actually you can go ahead and delete all of that because those are all going to change because we're going to have we're going to have the okay. we're going to have the program do all of the work for us. Okay. Right? Okay? So we're going to clear all of that anyway. Okay? So okay. what I want you to do is on uh, in 1A I want you to put C equals um which one? 1 column 1 okay. and A or I should say row one and column A. Oh yeah, you can put it over there, that's fine. Okay, one A. No, 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 I don't want you to put one A. I want you to put, so, but I want you to write, write C equals in, G, in that one. Equals, uh-huh. Okay, so the one next to it, type in three mm -hmm. and put, we're just gonna cheat, we're gonna put E. E. E as in Edward, or actually, wait, wait, sorry. Type in, sorry. So remove the three, put equal E. Mm -hmm. And then put, no, put three E eight. Three E eight. eight. Yep. Okay. And then, okay. Okay, and hit return. Hit enter, enter. No, it doesn't let me. It will. You have to hit enter though. Uh-uh, it doesn't let okay. me. Okay, so try, go, try the down button then. Uh-uh. Click on, a, can you click on another? So you see where it's highlighting it? Yeah, okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay, so now in this one, put M slash S. So you're letting me know the units of it. M slash S. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now for go underneath it under the C equals put H equal. Okay. Okay. And then type in and the under the column next to it. Mm -hmm. Type in six point two uh, six point six two six. Six point six. And two then six. Six. Two, six. Two, six. Yep. Okay. And then put E negative three, four. Okay. Okay. And hit enter. Okay. Okay. So you see where it says 6.626? Right. It's actually screwed up. Can you click on that one that's right above it? Which one? The Which? six point, it says 6.66. So click on it. And then it should be 6.626, not 66. Six. Okay, so two? Yes, yeah, two. There we go. Okay. And then type in uh, next to it an I, make I column, type in capital J, and then put star S. Okay. Okay. So then that allows us to sit there and do our conversion, right? So you see where our frequency? So it'll be column C, go to where C is at, and three. Yeah. C3. No, not that, not C equals the column up top are the columns. You see where it says A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H? At the very, very top, 
Mm, no. A, B, C. You don't see that? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So go down and then go down the three. So that would Row be three. Different. Yeah, right there and click on that one. Okay, okay. so now you're going to write in equals. So should I erase this one? Yep. Okay. So equals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, money sign. Mm -hmm. H. Capital H or? Just it, it, in this case, it, it isn't going to matter. It okay. could be a lowercase. Money sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two. Okay. And then star. Star. Okay. 10. Okay. Uh, up carrot. So it looks like an arrow up. Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine. Okay. Divided by, or slash, sorry. Slash. Uh -huh. And then select on your wavelength. Um, this one? Yep. Okay. And hit return. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want, if we want that to be in scientific notation, Let's go ahead and to go go over to uh, the H2 column, H2, where it says C equals next to that 3.000. Click on that, go up, no, up one. Yeah, click on that one. And then let's just write in 3E, and don't put the equal sign, just put 3E8. Uh, Wait, in this one? Yep, just type in 3E8. Mm, right next to it or should I erase it? You can uh, erase it, erase it, and then just type in 3E8. Okay, 3E8. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hit return. Okay, so you see how it changed everything to scientific notation? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now what you can do is select the uh, C3. No, not that one. C3. Mm. The, yeah, ABC at the top. Go down to the third. Yeah, that one. Click it and then select that. You see that blue uh, corner? Mm -hmm. Okay, and drag down. Okay, so now you just did all of the calculations for your, your other two. So now oh. you need to do the same thing for this guy for energy. So energy is under E3. So go to E3. Okay, and uh, this one, okay. Okay, so type in, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, equal, okay. money sign, mm -hmm. H3, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, H money sign three, sorry. Okay. Uh -huh. Times or star. Okay. Um, and then select C three. So going go over to C three and select that. So I don't know which one should I select. C three C. Go to the column and the number three. Okay, this yeah. one. Right? There we go. Yes. And then. And hit return. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now all you have to do is drag. There mm -hmm. you go. Pretty simple. Yeah. Okay. So do you think do you think you can do the ones down here? Yeah, I can do them, but that would be the start number or. What was that? Yeah. So in the case you you're doing ranges, right? But you what you did, you actually have you said, okay, here's my blue, here's my green, and here's my red. So really, all you needed to do was do you your range. Me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Um. Yeah. I barely. Okay. So can you hear me? Okay. So let me get a little bit closer. So 
like in your case, you said, okay, so my blue was 400 and, or 457.9, right? Mm -hmm. So then really, if you looked at your spectrum, if you showed your picture, it would be from that value all the way up to your red, because if it's uh, the light, it's all of the colors. You should see all of the colors and not just one, only one color. So then you would say, that would be your, your very first one would be your start. And then the very last one should be your end. Does that make sense? Uh, kind of, but like, I don't know how to get it, you know? No, but that's what, you don't have to because in a sense, you've already done it. You're oh. saying the, the one that's in B3, that's your start. And then you're saying that the one that's in B5, that's your end. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Because okay. I did it, you know, like different, yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And, oh, yeah, just for the picture. I don't know how to enter it. Okay. It just, so, it now, yeah, you go insert image mm -hmm. and cell. And then you pick the image that you, so pick your picture. And then I just put it up over here and then it doesn't name me. Okay, you see where it says light two? I'm assuming that's your, your spectrum. Yeah. Okay, so hit light two. And then hit open. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. And I so now you just need to make it big enough so that I can actually see something. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what I did. So, but you can also sit there and say, if you go ahead and hit insert again and insert picture. So don't insert it in the cell, just insert it in the sheet because then that'll make it bigger. If you insert it in the shit in the shit in the cell, it'll just make it really tiny so it'll fit in that cell. Does that make sense? So go to insert again. So go to insert again. So hit insert. Mm -hmm. Okay, go down to image. Okay. So you see where it says image over cells? So that's yeah. what you want to do. Because if you put it in the cell, it's going to make it too tiny so I won't be able to see it. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that help? Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you, Dr. Henry. No problem. My uh, sunlight one. Okay. So I was thinking about, I thought I would get like maybe right here, since it's like, it seems to be the, the peak. Okay. Is so that now, correct? So first, first, we want to calibrate it. So your calibration is off. So if you take a look at your, can I write on your screen? Let's see, I can't write on Yeah. Your you have a, uh, a Chromebook, right? No, it's not a Chromebook. Not, it's not allowing me to annotate on it. So uh, what you're going to do is, so you see your B2? Yeah, right here. So drag that over. Uh, drag it to the right. Right. Not to the left, to the right. Okay, you want to drag it where that blue is at on, on your picture, not on the upper picture. The upper okay, picture so about right, right here? There. Yep, right there. That, that's okay. perfect right there. Okay. And then you want to drag your G2 over to where the green is at. So right, right. Yeah, about right there. Yep. Okay. And then you want to hit apply. So you want to scroll down and where it says wavelength calibration, you want to hit apply. Okay, so if you scroll back up, so we can see the image and where everything is shifted. Okay, good. Okay, so you, you kind of see where it actually put it all in in the right spot, sort of. Uh-huh. Okay. Wow, so that's a big difference in the picture that it was showing earlier. Okay. Yeah. So I... You can actually see. So you actually see there's, you have some red that's down here. You have some green that's right here. And so you have all of these peaks, right? So this is all your sunlight. 
but you can see where it starts. Your your spectra, the black that black peak. You see where? It, oh, here. No, 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 down the table where it says intensity. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah. Okay. Now look where it's starting at the very very beginning. Take it all the way to the very yeah right there. You see how that goes up right here? So about at two fifty. Okay, right about here. Yep. So from two fifty. All the way, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, all the way up to about seven, because all the way to the end, essentially, right? So it's basically yeah. saying that you have all of the colors in the spectrum, right? Although yours is kind of it's double layered, really. Um, so I, I would put star two fifty and seven hundred. That's right, seven seven, because it's still you see it, it peaks up at the very end. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that black one keeps going. So then you would say to 715. Oh, seven. So I would put uh, ending 715.2. That is correct. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So does that help? Yeah, that does help for sure. And then I'll just do every, like how you were doing with everyone, just doing the math. I kind of understood the math, so I'll just keep going from there. Yep. Sounds good. Thank you, Dr. No problem. Okay. Andres? Oh, uh, yeah, Dr. Henry, I had a question. What were, yeah. the, what were the equations you added in the in the, in the Google Sheets, like the money signs for frequency yeah. and energy. Okay, so uh, do you have your sheets? Uh, I'm, I'm using my phone at the moment, but what's okay. it called? I have my computer with me. Okay, so what you want to do is type in, so the money sign, you put money sign, you want to put the, the uh, column it is, so if it's like A, C, so right. money sign, and I use C, so it's C, money sign, and then the number that I put that number in was 17, right? So right. by doing that, you're fixing it. You're saying that this is gonna be a constant and I'm gonna use it in all my equations, right? So that's what that does. Right. So I'm gonna share my screen so you guys can see the equation, but it really just depends on where you're putting everything, right? So yeah, that's true. I'm talking about my constant. So this is the speed of light. So this is the speed of light, and this is the value for the speed of light. Uh, are you so, sharing your screen? Because I don't see oh, your screen. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, can you see it now? Uh, you're all right, I see it now. Okay, so this here is gonna be the speed of light. So I'm saying T is gonna equal, and then we only want to put the number there. We don't want to put the units, so we give that cell only has that number. So I put in 3.00E8, and then I hit return, and then that reports it as being scientific notation, and it's the speed of light. So this number here is Planck's constant. It's another constant. And then that is 6.626E to the negative 34. So it remembers that. Okay, so I put in all my wavelengths up here. And then when I wanted to calculate my frequency, because I know that my frequency is going to be equal to nu equals C divided by lambda, where C is the speed of light and lambda is the wavelength. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but I need to change because the speed of light is in meters per second. So I needed to change meters per second. Either I need to change those into nanometers or I need to change my wavelength into meters. So what I always do is change my wavelength to meters. And the way that I do that is because I know this is the conversion for changing it to meters, right? And so this, since this equation is C nu, so then whatever that wavelength is, so I'm just gonna put in a number here for right now. So I'm gonna put in that 400 nanometers, right? But I need to change it to meters. So if I put 400 nanometers down here, I do my conversion, I know that 10 to the ninth 
over one. And so then that makes it meters, right? All right. Then. Okay. So then when I type in my equation, I know what C is, so I can say equal. So then instead of putting in the value for C, I just put in money sign where C is located, it's C 17. So it's money sign 17. And then I multiply it times 10 carat nine, okay? And then I'm dividing it by my wavelength, which would be in this case C4. Okay. All right. So you always divide from the start of the wavelength. No, you're going to divide by either one. It's going to be the same thing right, at then. the end of the wavelength, right? Because if all I right, look then. at this equation here, it's going to be the same equation. Only thing it's going to say instead of saying C4 down here, it'll say uh, D4, right? Okay. 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 So then once I get that, so I'm going to click on it so you guys can see it. Hold on. Okay. So look at the equation up top. You see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay, so once I get that, I can sit there and just drag this guy down, right? And then it'll do, it'll get, calculate the answers for all of these numbers for the start. And then if I'm really lazy, I can even drag it across. And then I got the frequency for the end, okay? So if you look at this value, remember what it was initially. And then remember I said that the only difference between this guy and this guy is Instead of saying C4, it's going to say D4. Let's click on it to be sure. All it does is change that D4. All right, then. Okay. All right, that makes sense now. Okay. And then, so for energy, the equation for energy, so E equals H nu, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the equation for energy. Well, I have my H here, so then new I know is my frequency, so I just multiply it by the frequency. So I multiply this number by the frequency. So then I would just go equals, since this is located C18, so money sign C, money sign 18 times, and then now we're looking at that frequency, so it'll be E4. All right, then. So then if I take a look at my energy, okay, B18 times E4. All right, then it makes sense now. Okay, good. All right, Dr. Henry, all right, have a nice day. Okay, you too. Okay, Alex. Hello. Just me, just me and you left, me, you, and Wilmer. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen. Oh, okay, sure, sure. So I'll stop sharing. Honestly, I'm kind of behind, but I get how to do it. It seems obvious. I just don't know how to do the start, start one and the uh, end. Okay. But it doesn't even let me upload it for some reason. When I try to upload my my picture, it doesn't let me. So saving and okay. it doesn't do anything after that. Okay, so hit, do me a favor and hit choose. You see, you see where it says uh, file? Choose your file. Oh. Yep, go ahead and click it. I already have a file there, though. Is that good, or does it look blurry? It's a little it'll work. We can get that one to work, but OK. And then hit Upload. Or, yeah. This one? Let's see if it does anything. I'm not sure if it's the computer or because I have another computer to try it on and I feel like it's faster, but I'm not sure. No, I don't think it's the computer. It might be that that you're saving it as a PN PNG and it may have trouble reading the PMG rather than a uh, JPEG. And so what we may need to do. Uh, 
Okay, so pick another file and we'll see if we can get it to work another way. All right, I'm just gonna leave this though because I don't know if. Okay. If I could get it kind of. I'm trying to... Oh, it's not up to date. What? Um... Yeah, and this one's the pretty... sun. Yeah. Okay. Do I do upload? Which like yeah, hit, hit upload and select calibrate. Oh, I need to put the title. I forgot. Oh, what was that one? Um, let's call it Sun. Sun one. Upload. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is anything supposed to happen, or you just supposed to wait until it's just done saving? It should be something should happen. Finally, I'm happy. So that was it. Chrome was giving you get grief. Yeah. Yep. So okay. from here, what do you do? Okay. So from here, first thing you want to do is calibrate, right? And then. But before you calibrate it, your your image is backwards, right? Because if you look at spectrum, you want it to go from the blue to the red. Yours is going from red to blue because blue. this right here is like where the blue is going to be at. Yeah, I, I get what you mean, but how would you flip it? And you would have to do it. You could do it on uh, on your in the oh. image. Remember, in that the program that we just used to open the image, you can actually flip it there. The program that we use. Remember how we change it to a JPEG? Yeah. So you want to do it before you load it into the thing. So yeah. So click on it. Uh, well, you know, I can't even tell the difference. It, it uh, doesn't matter. I think they'll both work now. I think it was just your something with Chrome was giving grief. Oh. Okay. Right. So yeah. So then you'd flip. You see the yeah that guy. Like okay. that. Yep. And then you want to load it, so save it, and then load it up again. It's this one, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Is that what you wanted? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we want to go down the calibrate. Go down the calibrate. Yep. Okay, go up, scroll up. Okay. Wow, oh, damn it. This is why okay, I'm so, to move the G2, huh? Yep. So you want to move it to the green. The problem is, is that you don't have too much green. So you want to slide it over to the green. But technically, you should have two images. You should see a green. So would you slide it over to the middle, like around the middle ish? Or? Yeah. Yeah, I got the green. I think that's middle ish. Okay. And then you want to hit apply. Scroll down and hit apply. Apply. Yep. Yeah, I did that part. Okay. So then what you would do is, what I would do is, I would actually, because it's very end, the end of it is giving you a very bright signal, like right over here. So then I just cut this part off. So then I would say from, uh, we'll say four, whatever that is, 455. So from four. 455 to let's say, uh, 
558. Okay, so scroll, if you scroll down and you put limit, you see it says like limit something, limit spectrum mm -hmm. or limit uh -huh. wavelength range. Click on that and then put 455. And that'll be fine. You can hit to the end. Right? And you, oh. I'll just put 558. Yep. And hit it. Okay. Like so then that. that gives you a much better signal, right? So now you can see your red. You have red. Mostly of it, most of it is red, right? And so you see your nice red spectrum. Yeah. Yeah. So this the you see where it says uh, glow, glow, uh, glow stick, uh, parentheses are, that's your red. Okay, so Close that's the average, print. that's everything. Yes, so that's just the red. Scroll up. If you go up to the top. I am up top. Uh, click, uh, onto, click onto the red, the red line. Okay, so that's your red, right? So if you can see, your red is basically from here to here, right? Yeah. So that's gonna be your wavelength. So you, would, you wanna go where that red's at. It peaks up in this area. So it's sort of, you got it from here to here, but it peaks up. And so you can say your red is from there. That's gonna be your range for red. Your green, if you click on your green, your green has a pink, it actually has two peaks, right? So it's like right here to right here. That's gonna be your green, uh. okay? And then you have blue, but it's really hard to see and your blue is very faint. So I wouldn't worry so much about that. So I'd say you basically what you have here is like cyan, it's like a cyan, so it's like greenish blue. So, but it's green. And then you basically have, you have very little orange and red. Okay. I didn't even see the blue that much. Oh, yeah, it's, the it's hard off. to see. It's like at the very, very bottom. It's below that. It's like a violet, violet more so than anything else. So really you just see green and red. You have two peaks, really. So you can clearly see where your peak's at. So if you look on the red, that red line. Yes. The red line up here, right here. You see it right here? Let me clear. Oh, yeah. Okay, if you, okay. So if you go basically where that red line is, so basically right here, say right to this point, to about see. right here, that's gonna be your red line. This here is all background. Yeah. Okay. So that's where you're going to say your red is going to be your range for your red. And then your range for your green is going to be. Over here, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to start from right there. Yep. And then you can see your peak, your peak, your peak. And then the rest of it is kind of background-ish. But you do have some that's here, but it's going to be harder to see. So I'd probably say up into this part here. But, so we're supposed to do it for all, like both of these? We're supposed to find yeah, frequency? So so you're going to do it for two colors because mainly you have two colors here, right? Yeah. And it, well, of course, okay, if you look at it, right? Green, red, and an orange. That's what you have for your glow stick. Yeah. Okay. So does, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I get you from right there. I just don't, don't get it because I when I was looking at the other people's, I didn't really see this. Yeah. That's why I was kind of confused. And I thought we were supposed to do it like from right here. You pick a part like 488 uh -huh. to like 500. That's how I thought you guys were doing it. But no, it so, so yeah, but yours has better se separation than theirs did, you know? And so that's yeah. why yours is, is showing up clearer. I get it now. I, I get it a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. So, so what would you do in the Excel then? So then in the Excel, you're going to put in your starting wavelength. So you put in your source, right? And so then... That would be... the wavelength yep so w w would i do the wavelength of green first or the yeah you do the, the one that's one? smallest first and then do the the one that's below it okay so you do the green first and then you do the red oh the green first all right so for this one it'll be okay, 457 perfect. yep 
So we we'll say 457. And then all the way to, and it'll end about right here. About right here? Yep. What is that? 489? Yeah. 490. Yep, because it's 0.9. Okay. So that's going to be your yeah. range. So that's why I put it, that's why I put the range for. Yep. That's right. right. So that's where you're going to put your start and then the fork it. Yeah. And then you're going to put your end. Yeah. This is getting a lot more simple. And now that I'm actually understanding this, and I'm getting happy. <laughs> uh, so that was for blue. That was for a green. Oh, green. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Green. Um, so color. Try to put color. Green. Then I have to do the same thing. So I put glow stick for this one too, right? Mm -hmm. Glow yep. stick. And then I would put this one's gonna be red. What red? You could say you could even say orange to red. Because it has a little bit of orange, so I'd say orange red. Orange red, right? Orange. Slash red. Mm -hmm. mm, and that would be. So you said we're going to start from over here, I think? Yep. So about, yeah, that looks good right there. 491.6. Okay. So 491. Can I round it or? Yeah, I would uh, round it. So I say 492. 492. Till. Um, pretty sure you said around over here. Oh, keep going. Keep going. We have a nice peak here. So probably around, I'm going to say it looks about right over here. So I'd go over this peak. Yep, right there. So that is to 535. Okay. Okay. 535. So Ninety two, five thirty five. Mm -hmm. And then, so that's the, I, I get all this already. So I am I'm showing off this now. I just have to I have a question about the other one. Is it the same process? Same process. But how do you determine it? That's the thing that gets me a little confused. How do you determine where to start and where to end? Because you need to calibrate first. You use a calibration to help you get everything lined up, and then. You look at the peaks, right? So if you kind of take a look at the peaks, so your red really started, it really started rising. It didn't rise much, but it, it started rising around here, around the 491. And then it just keeps going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. And then it starts dropping back down, right? Okay. Oh, so I get you. Here. Yeah. And then, so your green, right? You know where the green's at. So you can kind of look at it. And then you're going from here. Okay, it goes up, it goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up, and then it starts dropping down. So it drops right. down about right here, right? Do you mind if we do another one or? Yeah, we can do another one. All right. We've got to be quick because I have another class to get ready for. So. You have office hours. Do you have office hours after this or no? I have. Uh, I don't have office hours after. I have it on Thursday, but uh, today's lab day. So actually, technically, we can still keep going. Uh, but I have literally, I have a class, our lab ends, and then I have a class right as our lab ends. So that's what I'm just saying. So we have enough time for another one. We can do one more. Um, this one? Oh, yeah, that one's a pretty one. Yeah, let's do that one. I don't even think that was uh, light, I think. Yeah. Um, upload, hold on. Would I have to copy anything for this one? Okay, so yeah, you're gonna calibrate for this one as well. So go ahead and hit calibrate because calibrate. the numbers are gonna be off, yeah. Okay, and then, 
So here you see the blue. Okay, okay, so we have a problem, right? So here, your red is here, your green is here, and your blue is here. So you want it so your blue is over on this side and your red needs to be on that side. So we need to flip that image as well. All right, okay. uh, I'll flip it right now. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm gonna try to do something else on my end. I think it was this one, yeah. <laughs> Then you duplicate if I remember. Mm -hmm. And then Dr. Henry, I have a quick question for you. Okay. Hey, uh, for the homework, I don't know if um, anyone said mentioned this or not. Um, what if we believe one of the questions or one of the uh, options is correct, but the uh, Chem 101 says it's incorrect? Um, you let me know and you send them a message because you can message them about it. And then you also message me on that same message. And then I'll. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Happens. Yeah. Cause we're not, we're not perfect. Okay. It's cause I, I was really like, this is, this has to be the answer. And then uh, I had another, uh, classmate, um, say, you know what? I thought the same thing and, I, I don't know why I was saying it was incorrect. So I just kind of wanted to verify with you since, um. Yeah. yeah now that's the best way of doing it. Okay, and then um the other the one that we were cutting the up the um oh I forgot that's the next week the one that we were cutting up the little uh tiles yeah tiles yeah yeah okay. yeah it you're you're at Kalinga right yeah. yeah you're at Kalinga so yeah so that's gonna be your lab for next week so if you can okay. actually get that started then you'll be golden all right well, like this right yep. Yep, that's right out. Uh, can you um can you please remove all the annotations? What was that? Can you do the annotations? It's kind of blocking some stuff. Like this one. Oh, sorry. There you go. Thank you. No um, problem. Calibrate G2 right here. No, G2 is over here. How come I don't get my blue though? Yeah, that's really weird. It's for some reason when you redid it. Um, let's try hitting calibrate again. Calibrate again. It still only gives me one. Okay. So how did you upload it? What did you do? So tell me the process. So the first thing I did was duplicated it. Okay. Changed it to a, a JPEG. Okay. And then uh, flipped it, and that's it. Okay. So yeah. for some reason it's having trouble. Um because it, it showed us the last time. So do me a favor. Uh don't change it to a JPEG this time. Go ahead and do the same thing, just flip it without changing it, and then save it. And then we'll see it, see if we can get that to work that way. But either way, we can get it done with a single one. It's better to have, oops, better to have double calibration. Yeah. It makes it more exact. But for some reason, it's just showing us the green. So just slide this over to the green. Right here? Uh, you, just a little bit right there. Yeah. And then uh, and apply. apply. Yep. Is this what you wanted, like that, yeah. or you want me to? Yep. Okay. So in this case, you can see the full range, right? You can see the purple, you can see the blue, you can see the cyan, you can see the green, you can see the yellow, you can see the orange, and you can see the red, right? So literally, yeah. you're going from that start at the very bottom, which is 435, all the way down up to where it peaks right here, which is whatever this value is. 
sorry, I'm, I'm moving something. Okay, um, so this is 773. Okay, so 436 to 700, and you said 30 or 73? 73, yeah. Can I do okay. 74 because it's 0. 0.7 or? Okay, yes, I do 74 since it's. Um, okay. How would you do that again? I forgot. Um, calibrate, right? Or no? No. Now, now all you just need to do is put in your, your table. Oh, put in my table? I thought you yeah. wanted me to. Oh. Um, so this one is light. Oh, so uh, seven, seven, four. Yep. And, and then, what do you put for the color? So you would go from violet and then dash red. So you're telling me I'm going from violet to red. Dash. Like that? Yep. All right. So, and that's exactly what you're supposed to see, right? Violet, purple. All the way to red, right? Yeah, I, I see it. Yeah. All right, so I just need one more. But I think, what time is it? Do I have enough? I don't think I have enough time to do another one. So you can see if you can do the last one on your own. How about that? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I got this, hopefully. Yep, you got this. That's right. 